The Samsung Galaxy S features a 5 megapixel autofocus camera capable of 720p HD video recording. If we take a look at the camera hardware, you'll notice there's the camera lens, but we don't have an LED flash. Some versions of the Galaxy S coming to the American carriers do feature an LED flash, but that's not the case with the international version. You also aren't going to find a dedicated camera button on the Galaxy S. If we take a look at the camera software, you'll see that even though a flash could have been used in a pinch, there are enough camera settings are provided to help you get the best shots possible in most lighting conditions. You can pick between a few different shot modes, and we'll get into that a little bit later. The scene will help you get the best lighting. The night mode actually works pretty well, and, and I'll show a couple examples of the pictures in the full review, but pretty good at getting low light situations. Not so good at focusing in low light situations, but if you have a pretty still shot that you need to get in the dark, you're going to be able to get it. You can also adjust for exposure to help get a better brightness level on there, and that can help with night mode as well. And then of course you get all the different settings to set for your focus between macro, which we have it on now, and you can get autofocus and then face detection mode. And there's a bunch of other settings here too. You can change the resolution, white balance, add some effects, things like that. Now right now we have it set on the macro mode so I can show off kind of just getting a, a smaller picture, a little detail, this little shark guy back here. Put it there on the Galaxy S box. Now with the Galaxy S's camera you just tap to focus on the screen. If it can't get a focus it will come up as a red box. But if uh, you can get a pretty good focus on it, it should show up with a green, and that means you're ready to go, and you just can snap the shot there. Try a couple more of these. Now this is in the macro mode, it's having a hard time focusing, but if you're in the, uh, the regular autofocus mode, generally you'll be able to tap anywhere on the screen and focus to that area. And you can even probably get some cool effects out of it with uh, foreground and background focus kind of being in and out of each other. Aside from being able to just take your standard single shot, you have several other options to choose from that all have various effects. Some of them are just more for fun and effects like the cartoon and the vintage. Uh, but then there's also, if we go back in there, you'll also see that there's a couple useful things. Continuous is going to let you take a continuous stream of photos, so if you're at a sporting event and you need to catch a lot of shots in a row, that'll take a succession of shots very quickly. we got a panorama mode which is much like the panorama mode seen on the Droid X and some other phones these days. Um, now there are apps that offer this in the market for some phones that don't have the panorama feature, but they're probably, and from my experience, not as good as the ones that have come built into these cameras, but it's basically the same concept of you start from one side and you bring it across to the other lining up a box. And uh, I'll show you an example of the panorama mode in the full review. Uh, you also have a self shot mode and this is about the only area of this phone that uses the front facing camera that isn't a video call and, and you'll see there it's just a slightly lower resolution but we'll grab a shot here just so we can get an idea of what the front facing camera video quality and, and, and picture quality looks like. Video recording on the Galaxy S is about as straightforward as it can get you can go in here to the settings and that's where you're going to be able to change between your 720p HD video and various other resolutions to get a smaller file size if need be. You can also uh, go up here and uh, change the recording mode from normal which will just let you record as long as you need to and then you can also limit it for picture and video messaging so that it's not going to be a huge file that can't get sent across. Um, if you look at some of the other settings pretty much the same as the camera. You can set the quality, the white balance, you can add effects and um, right now we have it set on 720p video uh, kinda hard to demonstrate that right here but you know just grab a picture we have um, some examples of video that were shot so we just shot at the beach you'll see there pretty good quality and I'll, you'll see a full version of this uploaded to YouTube that you can check out to kinda get a better idea of the quality it's not gonna be as good as your handheld HD video camcorders coming out these days because they have a much better uh, video image sensor chip but this is pretty great for a, a handheld mobile phone getting HD video. The, um, on, the, on the Super AMOLED screen on the phone at a smaller size it definitely looks pretty great. When you blow it up a little bit bigger on a computer screen you can start to see a little bit of noise and degradation in the picture quality but 
but overall it's very very good HD video recording for uh, for a mobile handset all in all the Samsung Galaxy S camera is pretty great it's just 5 megapixels compared to the 8 megapixel cameras on some of these other phones coming out but you really aren't going to notice too much of a difference with the way mobile technology is advancing the megapixels aren't going to mean so much anymore and the image quality and the image sensor kind of come into play a little bit more um, there's enough features packed into the software portion of the camera to make up for what's lacking hardware wise such as a flash and a dedicated camera button and you're definitely going to be able to get some good pictures out of it given most lighting situations so we definitely give the Galaxy S's camera a very high rating